Hi, I'm Margot Schlanger. I teach at the University of Michigan Law School, and this is a recording about um, doing case research using the Civil Rights Litigation Clearinghouse, which is a website that I founded and run. So I'm aiming this, um, this training at um, particularly undergraduate students who might use the Clearinghouse for um, work on cases of interest in your classes. Okay, so the Clearinghouse, um, I'm, I'm gonna share screens. Um, the Clearinghouse is a website uh, at clearinghouse.net um, that is uh, an open um, source for information about civil rights cases. Um, and it has, for each case that it includes, it has a narrative summary of the case and it has um, the docket sheet, which I'll talk about in a minute, um, if we could get it. And it has the, the what, whatever key documents we have been able to gather. Um, the Clearinghouse focuses on uh, large scale civil rights cases. So it, it's um, aimed at injunctive cases where plaintiffs are seeking a change in the defendant's behavior and at class actions. And it's particularly rich in the area of criminal justice. Okay, so this is the front page of the Clearinghouse. And if you're gonna use it, the first thing that you wanna do, I'm gonna log out because I'm logged in as me. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is to sign up and get yourself an account. When you do that, um, you will get to an account page that will ask you some information. Once you're logged in using, um, using the account that you get, you'll get to this homepage and you'll see we feature some cases at the top. The work of the clearinghouse is largely done not in that top scrolling section, but here in the searchability. So the idea of the clearinghouse is that um, you might be interested in a particular case and you wanna find out stuff about it, or you might be interested in cases that meet um, broader criteria. So for example, Suppose you're interested in cases in Michigan that involve police reform. So I'm gonna pick a case type, which is policing. Those case types are the clearinghouse's own categorization, their tags. So I'm gonna pick policing and I'm gonna select state of Michigan. And um, I'm gonna search. And I get to 13 cases. Now, what if I only wanted the ones that are in state court rather than the ones in federal court? I don't even know if there are any, but yes, there's just one, um, uh, which as you can see from this description is about um, uh, resisting arrest. Let me undo the state court part and go back to the federal court ones. Okay, so if you look through here, you could find cases of particular types. But what if you wanted to refine your search further? Well, you can do that just like I just did with state court or federal court. You could, for example, say, I only want cases that involve cities. It's cases brought against cities or counties. So here's city and here's county. And now I go from 13 to nine. Now, one of those, just for example, or you could say, I only want cases that have, that refer to, I don't know, let's pick something that we know we'll find something, the National Lawyers Guild. This search is gonna take longer because it's text searching. That top, that top one is doing a text search of all these narratives and all these documents. But here we are. And so now we've got two cases that reference the National Lawyers Guild. Both are brought against the city of Detroit. Um, and let's just go into one of them. So here's Detroit Will Breathe versus Detroit, a fairly recent case that um, was brought, uh, as you can see, on in 2020 um, against Detroit. And so when you look here, what you'll see about each case is um, number one, I can save it if I want to. So I think I'll do that. Now it's gonna be saved in a page on my account, which I'll show you in a minute. You'll see a narrative summary of the case, which was written by some law students. Here they are. Um, most recently, just in this past May, you'll see a description of some of the people. Um, 
you'll see which documents we actually have in the clearinghouse. So that's these. We have a motion for a temporary restraining order. We have a complaint and so on. Um, and we have the docket sheet. The docket sheet is um, an index to everything that got filed in this case in a particular court. And this one is in the Eastern District of Michigan, the federal court. There might be other docket sheets too. Let's see. No, in this case, we only have the one docket sheet. And if you wanted to see this in a different format or on a different site, you can go to see the docket on recap. That's actually a different, that's a, a, a bigger site than ours. Um, and it includes the same docket sheet in a, in a different format. But what's different about this is that it actually allows you to buy, if you wanted to, um, documents. And it allows you to, um, uh, it allows this, we allow you to buy them as well, but it allows you to um, sort in various ways that we don't do. So you're probably better off just sticking with the clearinghouse though. So here it is. And if you wanna see a document, for example, um, click here. If it says recap, you can see the document that's on, um, not on the clearinghouse. If we had any of these documents, um, then let's see. Well, there's actually a mistake. That should say view on clearinghouse and I'll have to figure out why it's not doing that. But um, some of them will say view on clearinghouse and you can see them then. So, so the docket allows you to read through and understand if you have to read it slowly and carefully, but it, it'll explain to you all the things that happened in this case from start to finish. This particular one's two pages long. It's a lot of, a lot of information to process. And all of these documents, these are the documents that we've gathered about it that we actually have, and you can see them too. You can click here and you can see it. And that's how you do it. Um, so uh, I think that's it. Um, if a case had an appeal, uh, it would show you more information. Okay, so remember I saved this. The last thing that I wanna show you is that if I go into my account, I can see my saved pages. I go to this bookmarks page and then there are my saved cases. And there's Detroit Will Breed versus Detroit um, right there. And it gets me right back. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoy using the clearinghouse.